showing you how I would do a twisted front using wax spray. So I personally love wax spray. I think it is a great option um, to give a little bit more stickiness without being like hairspray sticky. So it's like elevated from a texture spray. It's got a little more grip to it, right? But it's not gonna be sticky and unworkable like a hairspray is. So it's really great for when you're doing braids, when you're doing twists, when you're doing things you wanna kind of pull out and make look um, a little bit light and airy. So we're gonna do that for the front of her hair today. So she's already got this lovely little updo and I just want this to be a nice twisted swept back and the front of the hair, you really want it to stay, be locked in, right? We don't want it to slip out for our brides. We don't want to have any flyaways. We want it to be nice, clean, and perfect. So what I have done to prep <clears throat> is we're going to do a normal prep, which is going to be flexible hairspray. So I'm going to spray some of this in. I would be really generous if it's her first spray of the day, but she's already got hairspray in. And we're going to comb through it. And then you just want to make sure the hair is curled in the direction that you're going to be doing your twisting. So the twisting is going to be away from her face. And so I'm going to take my curling iron. I'm going to just do two big sections here and I'm going to curl away from her face. She's got this brand new bio ionic one and a half inch extra long curling iron. So I'm experimenting with this and I'm finding it to be fun. I did it on my own hair this morning and it really did cut the time down. So that will be very beautiful for working with brides with long hair and for my own personal morning routine. So I'm just curling away from the face. Whenever you start by curling away from the face or sorry, curling in the direction that you want for your style, that's just going to help the hair work with you and not against you. So whether it be flat ironing it a little bit so it's nice and smooth or curling it away from the face like I did today, you wanna to put a little bit on it, a little bit of heat on it in the direction that you're moving so that it works with you. So now that it's curled away from the face, I'm gonna start, start by taking a one inch section at the top. Oh, and I forgot to say something very important. So use a little styling cream in your fingers. Um, I'm not really loyal to a lot of brands a little bit of styling cream in your fingers will be helpful as you work through this so that you don't get any frizz. So this will kind of help pull those flyaways off her face. So we're going to start just by getting it in the direction that you want it to go. Because I have the styling cream in my fingers, I'm not getting it frizzy, it's just staying nice and smooth. And I'm going to divide this in half. So we're just doing a two strand twist okay so i'm taking my two strands twisting at once and now the second time i'm going to gather up hair underneath and twist again and i'm going to gather a little more hair and twist again so this is similar to a french braid where you're just gathering a little more every time but i'm only doing it with two strands and taking the hair as i go now because I've got this styling cream in my fingers, it's keeping it nice and smooth as I work. And I'm just holding the tension very, very loosely. So now I have this really loose twist, okay? So you can see it's twisted, it's super, super loose. And this is where you're gonna bring in your wax spray. So I'm gonna spray over the twist that I just did, pretty generously. Now I can start near the bottom and I can start to just gently tug this out. So we see this all the time on videos, okay? Now a lot of times people make it look so, so easy, but the truth is you have to be really, really careful and meticulous. And it requires a lot of patience and it requires a lot of product if you want it to be really smooth. So as you're working your way up, you're holding the tension so loosely from the bottom. So I'm holding it very, very loosely and I'm pinching with just my two fingers here and you can feel the wax spray. So I can actually feel it in my fingers as I'm pulling and that's good. That's what you want because you want to make sure that it's there. And as you're pulling, you can see it's coming out and it's staying out and no frizz is happening because of this wax spray. So the difference is if I was using hairspray, the hairspray would dry wet 
and as I'm pulling, it wouldn't separate. It would just pull all in one piece. Texture spray also works for this, but it doesn't give you as big and defined of a kind of like these ridges as the wax spray does. So once it's pretty good, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clip it back with just a pin curl clip. So this will just kind of hold it in place before I actually pull it into the updo. And now I'm gonna use my pins to kind of even bring it up even more. So I'm just gonna do a little bit more wax spray. And now I can take hairpins to define this where you want. So the hairpins are the kind that are open, so they have some space in them. And you can use these hairpins to add more definition. So if you like it just like this, you can keep it. But if you want to bring up and bring a little more definition in here, you can grab the hair by the hair with the hairpin instead of your finger, and then slide it down into the twist. So hairpins are not good for holding the hair, like holding up a whole piece of hair, but they're good for adding this definition and design. So I'm going to do the same thing in this section, kind of see what I want lifted. And I'll put it in and then push it down. And you can see how it's kind of lifting up and giving it more of that nice twisted look. So you can do this all the way up. You can just do this in a couple spots. It really just depends on the design that you want. So I would do that first. And then I'm going to come back to the bottom. So come back to the bottom, twist it, and then secure it into my updo. So I find it helpful sometimes to place another hairpin in before you actually do your securing. So that way I'm not messing up any of this while I'm pinning this in. So I can pin this part into the updo and know that I'm not going to disturb this part that I just created. So I'm pinning that in. And if I really love it and it's good, I might need to do a little more definition down here. And if that's the case, I would use a little wax spray first and then you can use your fingers to define it however you'd like. Take out your pin and then finish with hairspray. So you can do a little bit of flexible hold and make sure all the flyaways, it's all perfect and then finish with a hard hold hairspray. But this way you get a really nice PC look and it's really movable. So if you need it to be up a little higher off the face, you can do that and you can use your hairpin to design this however you want. And it's gonna move with you and it's gonna even pull out even more if you need it to because that wax spray is keeping it um, pulled together but not so much together that when you pull one piece it all comes out. Because I think that's what happens sometimes is we use um, hairspray or we don't use much product at all. You pull on one piece like this and then all of it starts to pop and that's not good. So the wax spray will just help you keep that nice definition to create a beautiful twist in the front. All right, you guys, if you like this, please like and subscribe. I'll be back next week with more hot updo tips for brides today. And if you want some freebies, head to my website at www.theupdocollective.com and get your freebies on how to do beautiful updos there. Thanks for joining me, see you next time.